<laughs> so this woman, I mean, Miss Nat picked me up. I know, I knew it was God. Miss Nat, her husband picked me up. We went there, tried the stuff on, and and it took us such a long time to get there. And the ladies were so nice, right? That I felt like the receptionist could have been a little nicer. She was a little dry and scratchy. But um, the the girl, when I, once I got in the room, I was perfectly at home. I felt so comfortable taking clothes off and trying them on in front of her because as I was talking to her, she measured me and came around was talking to me about church and everything while she measured me. She had, while she was talking to me, she engaged me, was talking to me, and actually had measured me and started picking out things off the rack for me to try on. I've already got you, man. We are talking about a conversation. I've complimented you. I know how to engage people. I've already got you measured. I love doing what I do. And check this out. I've got sizes in different styles for you. What should we start with? I love doing this because I love making women feel beautiful. And then she told me her testimony. And then I understood why I was so comfortable around her. Because she's like me. She's been th- had a tough life, but she's coming back. And she's actually experienced something. She was experiencing something right at that time that I had experienced a couple of weeks before. So God said, when I looked at my wallet to pay, God said, said take that bill out of your wallet and give it to that woman and tell her to give it to that girl. Here's what happens, right? Because she encouraged me. Do I need to tip her? Absolutely not. And I don't tip people. We had a conversation about it on the prayer call. Do I tip? No. It's not my responsibility to, right? I tip if I'm in a restaurant because I worked in restaurants. I was a waitress. I tip when it's necessary. But if I have somebody come to my house and do what they are supposed to do, right? If you have a, um, a, a, a plumber come to your house and he unplumbers the toilet. I don't know what you call it because I, I have a plunger, so I don't really need a plumber. But if I, I, I'm, from the, I'm from the ghetto. I've never seen a plumber in my life. Plumbers crack. Never seen that. I don't want to see that. So I, I plumb and crack my own lifestyle. So... God said, take what you have in your wallet right there and give it, to, give it to that lady at the desk and give it to her. And I told her, I said, here, I need you to give this to the woman inside. She said, okay. And I said, no, no, no. I said, you give it to her after we leave. See, when God tells me to do things, now I went and sat down and read a kid's book about bras. When God tells me to do things, it's almost like I pop up like this, this woman that has authority. And I, no, 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 no. Not now. You do when I tell you to do it. Take this. Take this money and you give it to her when I tell you to give it to her. You don't give it to her a minute earlier. Why did I tell her to do that? I didn't know in the beginning, but I know now. Why did I tell her to do that? If you follow leading the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will tell you the right thing to do. Even when you're in the situation, when the heat of the situation, right? Remember, curtsy, come back in the house, lean on the doorknob, say, lean back, go back outside, get your mail. While they're still outside, the man's still trying to trap me and trip me and kill me, right? And on the other side, the woman is talking to Brittany, who had the call on her. So she's responding to a, rep- a reprimand call that I made on her. She said, okay, not th- God said, okay, now you made the call. Go back outside and get your mail. While they're there. I said, okay. I got up and went. He said, now come back inside. Put the mail down. Go to the bathroom. Come back downstairs. Go get, go, go get change from, the, from um, the seven star and come back. I left, I ran outside, curtsied, stood up and started skipping and skipped away. I came back, no law, no person in the truck, no kids running out of this truck, no him. He must have thought I was going to get police, I don't care. No her, nobody. God said he will. He sat in his truck and watched the whole situation and kept trying to put a log in front of my house and trip me. So God told me to do the, what to do, and then he broke it down when I came back inside after getting my money. I said, where they at? They must have went inside, the, the punks. <laughs> they came back inside. Because the many factions left. So when the factions leave, the demons retreat. That's what God is saying. I'm only an extension. That's the cats. It works the same way with you. Demons are an extension of their faction. Plastic cats are an extension of the denomination. That's why they're allowed to stand on the platform. Denominations and factions are the exact same thing. There's a split in the church that Satan has caused. He caused it. He's sitting back laughing about it. And somebody said on a prayer call this week, and I've been praying about it. 
I talk to God about it. I talk to you guys about it, but I don't spend no time on it because Satan's still gonna laugh. But because if I'm, I'm Jamie in my house, right? If you guys are still acting a fool outside, if you guys still vote Biden into the uh, the White House, and I'm Jamie in my house, I'm just I'm gonna go about my business and live my life. I did what I was supposed to do. I voted for the right person. I asked God who to vote for. At first, I thought there was nobody uh, um, that was eligible. Y'all had people on the platform. Just asking a whole bunch of stuff about councilmen and council. I voted for who I wanted to vote for, where I wanted to vote for them. If I didn't see any, if I saw a vote, so what's your vote for this thing? I had all these bubbles open. Nobody got the bubble. You don't get my bubble unless you put in some soap. See ya. <laughs> it's an exchange. I said punks come, came one in the house and went about my day. I had defeated two sets of factions at the same time by doing what? One courtesy. The courtesy of following the Holy Spirit, right? To, will cause you to be able to do one courtesy. I came out outside. And, I, and if I hadn't done it at that time, because some of us say, okay, God told us to do something. Now let's take the time to pray and get confirmation for God. You need confirmation for everything, including what God is telling you. You know it's God. And you need confirmation. Okay, God told us to uh, put on these shoes. He said this outfit will work best because it's raining outside. I'm going to catch cold if I don't wear a coat. Then I got to pray. I got to stand and pray for five hours about whether I should wear a coat outside. God already told you it's raining outside and that you need a coat. Okay? Because now, God said, try me. He didn't say test me. Now your prayers are starting to test God, not to Try him. You, you are walking in a dangerous situation because James says, "Don't." So God doesn't tempt and test anyone. So I would not test God because even His Son said, "Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God." Right? He said that in the wilderness. So if you're testing and tempting God, it is not trying God. That's not Malachi three ten. That's wilderness experience. If you're trying and testing and tempting people and doing things to get their attention, you stand as the enemy. God said, try me now. And the city say, test me. Get it correct. Plastic cats. So anyway. <laughs> well, I told you it was two sides of the same exact coin. Right now we're in a situation where post-COVID, everybody, I said, there's no difference in, what, in the world before now and, and after, um, before COVID and after COVID. Because back then, they said, I said, right now, everybody's doing what's right in their own eyes. I said, where are you? I told them one prayer, I said, where have you heard that from? I said, it's judges. We are all the judge in our own eyes. We are all the judge in our own house. We have a throne that's a toilet in our living room. And nobody will leave poop in my living room. God's throne is set up in my living room. There's no, there's no room for two thrones. Why would you have two thrones in your house? That means you're a double-minded man and you're unstable in all your ways. You got a throne and a a toilet in your living room. Nobody's pooping uh, in a place uh, where I keep a throne. My, th my God's throne. And it's not visible. You can't see it. So I know it's there because I invite him. That's why I can't invite you. You don't receive the same level of attention and love that he receives. His throne is here. He is invited. Also, he pays the rent. So I bow when I say it's your house. I just uh, live here. I'm rehabilitation in it. Uh, and while I'm rehabilitation in the house, he really be rehabilitation in my life. No toilets uh, allowed. Boom. That's a plant. That's why the satanic woman wanted it there. We're going to plant, we're going to put a toilet in your living room. Boom. That's a plant. Remember we talked about that? God plants seeds. Uh, Satan plants plants. Boom. What, what is that doing here? A toilet planted in the carpet. Are you crazy? You don't understand. It. I know it wouldn't look like that, but in, in the spiritual realm, it is like that. What she served to do, she went my living room is where I open the, open the house up to, to, open the door of the front door, open up to the living room. That's the first place I come to. What she was trying to do is put the word of handicap right at in the middle of my house. When I walk, first walk in the door, I walk in the door if I'm tired and I want to sit down, the first thing there will be a toilet to not a seat. Jamie, you can't make it to a chair. There's a chair right next to the door. You can't open the door all the way because there's a chair there. You can't make it to the toilet. You can't make it to a chair. You need a toilet right here. I'm going to bring a toilet. I don't need that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Go fight me over her throne. She's a toilet because she's filled with poop. Go fight me to put her throne in my living room. What's wrong with you?